Hi everyone, welcome to my latest video, which is the May Scrawler Box Challenge. So I'd always planned to do this one, I really liked the challenge we were given, I really liked the supplies we were given, more on that later, and I'd always planned to actually film it to put on YouTube, and then May kind of got away from me a little bit, and so did the start of June, and then suddenly we got an email saying, hi, your new Scrawler Box is on the way, you know, the June one, because it's June, and I was like, ah, okay, well I guess I'm doing this now then. So yes, my weekend has been planning this out, sketching it and filming it, and I've actually had a really good time. And of course, one of the things that really struck me as an interesting challenge for this, well challenge, was the colours they gave us, because they didn't actually give us a shade of green. Well, one of the colours is called blue-green, but I see it more as a teal. So you've immediately got to think outside the box in terms of the colours you're using to represent a natural space. So I started to look at different romanticist paintings from that era and look at different colour schemes I could use to create a more fantastical representation. And onto the equipment they gave us, they gave us Posca pencils, which I found really interesting and I was excited to use because I actually use pencil crayons a lot in my artwork, whether it's the only medium or primary medium I use or whether it's a secondary one. I really wanted to see how these new pencils worked and I really liked them. Although something I found a little odd was that the booklet that came with the supplies said that the pencils were very easily blendable. And I find that Posca as a brand is meant to be used on any surface and is also meant to be permanent once it's down. So I actually found that the pencils were actually quite reliably sturdy and you could build up textures with them quite easily rather than them being blendable. Which is how I use pencil cranes in my regular work. So that was absolutely fine with me. It was just a little misleading with the information they gave us. It was around this point that I was starting to get a bit frustrated with not getting the darker tones I wanted. And I do think this comes from the colour selection they gave us rather than any weakness of the pencils themselves. That's just kind of how pencils work, uh, or at least how I use them anyway. So I ended up looking at some line art from fantasy artists I really like, such as Arthur Rackham and Chris Riddle, and then I went in with the Derwent pen they gave us to just bring back in those darker tones add stronger line work that I really wanted. And the pen they gave us was fine, it was a 0.5 which is usually a bit thicker than I usually use, but I actually found I was able to get different line weights quite easily with how I positioned the pen, so that was actually quite fun to do. What I didn't really like however was the brush they gave us. I found that it was far too bristly and just didn't keep its shape very well. However, this might be because of the liquid graphite. So the featured artist for the scroller box has created a liquid graphite that's a shade of white to bring highlights back into an image where you've used coloured pencil, which makes sense. It's very hard to get highlights back in once you've used pencil, especially something like Posca, which is permanent once it's down. And it's fine, just the job. I just think there are other mediums that actually do it a lot better, to be honest. But, you know, it is fine, especially if you are a graphite artist. And yeah, that's the image. I hope you enjoyed watching the process. I'm going to do a bit more of a detailed rundown on my Kofi as well as actually upload a video without the voiceover because I actually really like the music I picked for this video. So yes, as ever, leave a like if you liked the video, leave a comment if you have something to say about the video and subscribe if you'd like to see more. And I'll put a link to my social medias in the description. Thank you so much for watching. Stay creative. Take care of yourselves. See you later.